So the question is that how long does it take to learn JavaScript programming? I'm absolutely sorry for the noise. I mean the water is coming before I can answer the question. Let me show you. I mean the water. So cameraman, will you please come here? Cameraman, can you show the water please? Don't waste my time. I need to answer the question. So yeah, the noise is coming due to the drainage. I mean pipe. Anyways, now let's back to me. The question is that how long does it take to learn JavaScript programming language? JavaScript programming language is harder than PHP. Period. I mean there is a huge argument should you learn PHP first or JavaScript first? I will say or you learn JavaScript first. I mean after learning JavaScript after PHP is really hard. I mean. So if we use the JavaScript at first book click the card button to watch my review for that textbook one month one 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 month four hours a day every day one month is more than enough for you i mean 30 days four hours a day one month non-stop is 120 hours 120 hours is very good to get into an advanced level with that kind of knowledge, you can build animation, you can build JavaScript 2D game, you can build 2D indie game using Construct 2 game engine. You can do a lot of stuff after that. One month, but the recipe is very simple. Four hours a day. It's not one hour, it's not three hours, it's four hours, minimum four hours a day. If you spend eight hours, I will be recommending that, but I know a lot of people are lazy. Except that four hours a day, there will be a lot of stupid guru on the internet will be saying just learn one hour, half hour. No, that can never happen. I mean, while I was a coach for Udacity, I taught my students the same four hours. One hour can be watching like Linda, Udacity, team three hours, or any kind of online video. One hour. In our hour can be like reading the textbooks like head first. So now we are in a second hour. Third hour is will be like coding. Fourth hour will be just googling, searching. Sometimes you need to understand what this kind of variable do, what that kind of function do. So four hours, one hour watching video, one hour reading book, one hour coding, one hour brainstorming, searching. Four hour minimum. So you can do like start in the morning 8 a.m. to 12 8 p.m. I mean, and then have your lunch and then do whatever the hell you want or you can wake up early in the morning like me I wake up 3 30 take a shower I mean you need to take a shower definitely have a cup of coffee some breakfast quick breakfast and then after uh, around 4 a.m. sit in front of the computer from 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. do coding and then go to your job I will be saying I mean not try to do the coding or try to learn JavaScript after you come up from your job it will be freaking hard, you already will be exhausted. My recommendation wake up 3.30 in the morning, 4 a.m. with a cup of coffee, ready, code 4 hour, I mean, I'm not saying code 4, I'm saying code 1 hour, 1 hour video, 1 hour textbook, 1 hour brainstorming, I'm spent 4 hours, yeah, 1 month is enough. If you can't do it in 1 month, you can't do it in 1 year. JavaScript is not for you, programming is not for you, simple like that. I'm not here to like pit pat, keep, keep, Keep on going boy, keep on, you can do it. No, 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 no. I can't become a doctor, I can't become a surgeon. I can't understand computer AI. I mean, for example, I can do quite good cooking, but a lot of people are very bad cook. I mean, I can repair this bicycle, but I think I can't design this bicycle. I know my weakness. You should also know your weakness. The person is violated and stupid. Who think he can do everything? You can't do everything. If you think then you are asking the question from the wrong guy also that outsource a lot of stuff I mean outsource I'm like a lazy ass right now I mean I mean I just see a project currently I'm not doing any project I spent my one year in Korea I mean just for a life experience currently I'm not working on any new freelance web development project but I'm working on my two websites one is for my business website Another, uh, another is not a website, another is a 2D game I'm working on like for the entire year. I mean, I have 
I really don't know when I is going to be finished. So I mean, currently I'm not working. I have started my business, a, a startup in Africa, East Africa, Rwanda. I'll be using Shopify. I mean, so I already know a lot of programming stuff. I really at this point in my life, I don't need to code anything. I mean, I can just I mean throw some money on a table, just use some kind of pre-built. I mean, it it take my work very easily. I mean, a lot of headache is gone. But I, if you want to become like me, I mean just using WordPress, just using the custom team, I mean just build a team, just using a Shopify, use a liquid Ruby programming, I mean building a custom plugin for your website. For that kind of stuff, you need to learn the basic. I mean HTML, CSS, JavaScript, a dynamic programming language, a PHP, Ruby, do not learn Ruby unless you want to use a Shopify. I hate Ruby, but still I learn Ruby for my Shopify e-commerce card because if you use the liquid framework which is written to be yeah one month four hours a day if you can't do four hours a day then it's not for you at the end of a day don't tell me that i mean you need motivation you don't need motivation you need discipline just imagine that you did a crime you are in a jail in a jail you do not have control on yourself you need to follow the instruction of a jail i mean of a prison just try to act that way wake up Four hours and non-stop. I mean, you need discipline. Once you have grind, success will be your. Subscribe. It was me, Jimmy. Bye.